Beto O'Rourke was on Stephen Colbert's, Colbert's uh, show last night. And uh, I don't know. This guy is... He's, he's trying to turn Texas socialist. Uh, he's promoting most of the same things, if not all of the same things, that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is. And uh, the audience, you know, Colbert's audience, of course, ate it all up. These are not Texas residents, though. So I don't know what you're so excited about. Uh, this is our problem, not yours. But here's some of what he had to say last night. We, we don't need a wall. Um, we don't I need a wall. The, we don't need a wall. Ahead. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> El Paso, mm -hmm. this town that, that I was born and raised in, where uh -huh. Amy and I are raising Ulysses and, and Molly and Henry, mm -hmm. happens to be one of, if not the safest cities in the United <laughs> States of America. Oh, my. Good gosh, that's a ridiculous statement. El Paso is one of, if not the safest city in America? It's 13th in Texas. It's just a flat out lie. It's the 13th safest city in Texas. It's not one of the safest cities in America. Plus, just on the other side of the border is one of the most violent, dangerous places on earth that has the 20th highest murder rate on earth. You don't need a wall to separate you from that? Yeah. Bet, okay, good bet, luck. Beto considers the other side of that uh, border part of his district as well. Yeah, yeah oh, he, he does. He has said that I feel like I represent the people on that side as well. Mm, do you know? Has he actually okay. said that? Yeah, it's an old article. I'll find it. Oh, yep. we got to find that. Yes, sir. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So, Juarez is basically a sister city to El Paso. I mean, they're just... they're. A lot of people who live in Juarez go to school in El Paso, and they just let them cross the border and go to school there. And they just put up with it, and they just do it. Um, so that's got to feel pretty good. Not, play, not paying any taxes, <clears throat> not contributing to your economy, but you're paying for them. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fair. Why not? Sure. Um, but for him to claim El Paso as the safest city in America is ridiculous. And what makes us so safe is that we are a city of immigrants and we treat one another that's, with respect that's and not dignity. What makes I think it that's safe. fundamental to security, to success. Okay. To so the key to safety is to have a lot of immigrants in your town? <laughs> really? What, what does that say about Americans? So if you... If you're a city filled with just Americans uh, who are Native Americans or, or were born in this country, that's going to be a dangerous city as opposed to a city of immigrants. Wow, that's interesting. That's, uh, that's a fascinating it's a safe thought process. Uh, do you want to see, me, do you wanna see, do you, do you wanna see the dreamers protected? Absolutely. Well, of course. And, and Schumer was willing to trade President Trump uh, the wall for the Dream Act. Would you take that deal? No, I, I wouldn't. And I, and I think the people of Texas can lead on this. I'll give you an example. Uh, Republican senior Senator John Cornyn and I worked on a bill to improve border security by investing in our ports of entry. So facilitating more legitimate trade and ta travel and having a better idea of who and what is coming in to our country. We, we don't need walls. We can have smart security solutions and we can free mm. dreamers from the fear of deportation by making them U.S. citizens today so they can contribute to their maximum capacity, to their, yeah. to their full we, potential. No. Um, and, and we can no. move forward in, in that manner of making sure that we're secure, but making sure that we live up to our values and our ideals. And Texas, the, the defining border wow. state and immigration experience, we should lead on that. Uh, we're going to be defined by our ambitions. The big things that we want to do, going from the least insured state in the country to the one that leads on universal, guaranteed, high-quality health care for everyone. Oh, wow. A state that values mm -hmm. public education and pays their teachers mm -hmm. accordingly and allows them to teach to a child instead of a standardized test. And this... Okay. This diverse state, mm -hmm. the most diverse city in the country, Houston, Texas, could we lead on rewriting our immigration laws in our own image, reflecting our experiences? Mm -hmm. We can do all of those things. We, we are running wow, not we against can. anyone or anything mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. any other political party. We are running for this country. And okay. It's the, it's the rhetoric of socialism. That's what it is. And when they're pressed on their socialist policies, their only answer is, we're, we can do all of it. We can, we can do everything. 
We can do absolutely every single thing. We can pay for everybody's health care. Everybody has free health care. And we can pay for everybody's education. Everybody's got free education. And we can guarantee you a job at a certain wage. And we also are going to guarantee housing. Because, of course, in the richest nation on earth, you got to be... You got to be able to have a place to live. You can't just be on the street. Well, how are we going to pay for that? Oh, please. This is the re- richest nation on earth. It's the United States of America. We can do anything. We can pay for it all. We can have it all. We can do it all. We can be everything to everyone. And we can allow everybody who wants to come into this country, legally or not, go ahead and come into this country. We don't need a wall. Just come on in. We don't need to know who you are. It doesn't matter. Okay, what a recipe for national suicide. 